How often is Clemson challenged? So we have to make up reasons sometimes to talk about Clemson. Well, Cat Train gave us one. Cat Train is, <laughs> don't even know if he's a guy or a girl. I just, I don't know if this is, shall we say, a guy or a girl. I have my suspicion, obviously. But they, Cat Train, submitted a question for the Late Kick Extra podcast. But I said, you know what? I'm not waiting for the podcast. Let's just do this on the Sunday night show. So we'll wrap up with this. You can think right along with me, and you can tell me in the comment section what you would or how you would respond to this. It's kind of layered. So let's dive in. Cat Train says, Clemson has made four of the six college football playoff championship games. They've won two of them. Alabama's also won two of the last six. They've played in four of them. Starting in 2015, if we gave Clemson Alabama's schedule, do you think they would still have won two national titles, and do you still think that they would have played for four championships? I feel like there have been many great SEC teams that Alabama's had to take down in order to get to the playoff. Meanwhile, Clemson pretty much gets to sit back and practice for the playoff all season long while Bama has to take on more obstacles. Clemson has been for real, don't get me wrong, but they've been blessed with an extremely weak ACC. There's no doubt they'd still be elite, but would their trophy case have ended up the same if they were given Alabama's schedule every year? Here's how I'm going to unpack this. If, in this hypothetical world where everyone's right and everyone's wrong simultaneously because you can't know definitive answers, but if we take Clemson back to 2015, we drop them in the SEC, they got, they got Bama's road. Here's what I know, or I think I know, wouldn't change. Here's what would not be negatively impacted. Their staff would still be their staff. Their culture would still be their culture. Both of those things have worked to a high degree for them. And their recruiting would still be their recruiting. They already recruit heads up with the SEC, and they do a pretty darn good job of it. They win their fair share of battles. So those things I don't think would be impacted. So what I'm telling you is I think the makeup of their program would be roughly the same, which means they would be a contender every single year. Now, what would be impacted here? You can't know for sure how this would contribute to more wins or more losses. I can tell you pretty certainly the status of their roster and the overall health of their roster would suffer more, or the odds go up that it would suffer more, by playing better caliber athletes to a greater degree more times per year. That's just a given. You probably have more injuries. Can't state it definitively, but you probably would. And also, you would have to do away with this idea that in late September, you're already talking about peaking at the right time. You don't get to wait and peak in, say, the SEC West until December or January, or else you're going to be playing in a mid-tier bowl game, peaking. you got to be ready to go earlier than late September, early October. I'm not saying they'd be incapable of it. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that would potentially be negatively impacted. So I think they'd still be favored in 10 or more, 11 or more games every year that have a better roster than most of the teams they played. What I would be interested to see, and here's where the rubber would meet the road, and this would ultimately answer your question one way or the other. There is a difference in getting a nice, solid win against North Carolina State and Wake Forest versus getting a nice, solid win against Texas A&M and Mississippi State you'd probably still pick Clemson to beat Mississippi State and Texas A&M. Those rosters in any given year are far more littered with future Sunday bodies, guys that are going to play in the NFL, than your NC State Wake Forest rosters are. The collisions don't get any less violent. Your training room is no less full on Monday morning just because you beat them by 17 points. That is the difference in playing a schedule like Alabama plays right now, in their division at least, versus what Clemson would play. So if I dropped them there, they'd have to deal with that. Don't know really what impact it would have on their record. But if I look back at 2015, for example, that's the first year that you mentioned in this string of years here, Clemson goes to the national championship game. They had one possession wins against Louisville, Notre Dame, South Carolina, but they got the job done. And so they go to the playoff, and they get to the final, and they lose. The next year, <clears throat> this is a year they end up winning the national championship. They had a six-point win against Auburn. They had a six-point win against Troy at home. They had a seven-point win against NC State. They lost outright to Pitt, and they beat Virginia Tech by seven. But then they won the national championship. So the question is, would they have been able to play at that level and still even have a shot at winning a championship? Well, I guess my follow-up is, if they knew ahead of time that they were playing 
Alabama or LSU or A&M instead of Troy, NC State, do we get the same caliber performance? Because here's the unknowable part in this entirely unknowable question. My guess is no, they probably haven't won the same amount that they've won. But then again, if Dabo was in the SEC, maybe he's built everything different because he's built to his surroundings right now. They peak later in the year and they take time to build up to it and they play the roster accordingly because they know they can. Well, if they didn't know they could, then it would not take a genius to figure out they'd probably handle things a little bit differently. So maybe his program would be wired differently. Maybe they would have injected a different kind of DNA that would be tailor-made to surviving their current situation in the SEC in this theoretical scenario, as opposed to their former being in the ACC.